Okay, so uh, exciting news. We are only days away from the release of uh, Neon 3 version 3. And uh, you can, of course, already install this. So I assume that when you see this, then it's, it's already gonna be out. So, so for me, it's um, something, um, well, that, that I kind of, um, you know, have, have to make, well, kind of have to make to work. But uh, for you guys, it's probably just a very simple and straightforward process. So how do you get started with this whole thing is, is what we wanna uh, basically um, talk about today. So we already know, or, or I, I guess that's how, why, how you got here, um, that Neon3 is, is uh, extremely fast when it comes to uh, both development and then serving um, the basic content, right? So what we wanna do is uh, we wanna basically just quickly walk through, okay, how does this work? Uh, as you can see, I just created a little readme here. Um, so we're going to say, okay, what is what are the prerequisites? So you need to have Composer, um, Git, uh, PHP 7.4, um, some kind of, of SQL, I recommend, you know, like, like MySQL or MariaDB or something like that, server running that, that you have access to. And uh, I should mention that your PHP has access to, we'll, we'll get to that in a second. And uh, I do recommend Node, even though uh, it's not going to be relevant in order to actually, you know, work with uh, Neon3. Um, you do probably, you know, want to, and, well, you'll see, right? I mean, it, it just makes sense nowadays to have a couple of, of Node packages available to you when you work uh, with, with the web. Um, if you if you purely want to basically dabble into into the API world, then I guess you don't need that. But then on the other hand, you probably do have a different kind of front end that you work with uh, uh, that requires Node anyway. So um, first thing we want to do. So let's just assume you have you have made that as as a checkpoint, right? So so you have Composer, you have Git, and so on. So you can, you can run all of those to to kind of like see what's going on, right? So if you run something like Composer, like um, you want to basically get uh, you know, this kind of like uh, feedback here. Uh, you can also ask for the version. Uh, so same thing with, uh, with Git, right? So run the version command. Oh, this is actually not the capital V. Nope. There we go. Uh, right, you want to run uh, Git uh, hyphen hyphen version. Um, and uh, with uh, PHP, it's actually rather simple. Uh, you probably simply won't want to do something like I ah oh, no, I mean, just run PHP and you'll see if it works or not. Um, so does PHP is it have a V tag? Actually, kind of wondering. Yes, of course it does, right? So you want to make sure that that your PHP runs on at least uh, seven four. Uh, and nowadays y you can run eight as well, of course. Um, then SQL. So again, this highly depends on. You can see, right? I'm currently working on Windows, which is normally not my my you know choice of uh, work environment. Um, so if you are running on Windows, um, make sure that um, you have something installed that kind of helps you enable this process. There's stuff like like uh, you know Zamp like XAMPP uh, for Windows that will kind of like ship with, with uh, PHP and uh, MySQL and PHP my admin and I think Perl, uh, you know, stuff like that. Uh, that's what you want. And um, if you're on Mac, uh, easiest approach uh, with all of this is a LAMP stack with Brew. And uh, if you're on Linux, of course, I mean, uh, that's a relatively, you simply install Apache uh, MySQL and um, and PHP. Uh, make sure to get the o uh, Andre um, uh, PPA uh, so, so you get the, the newest uh, uh, PHP version and not, not whatever ships with apt-get uh, per default. Um, okay, so that said, and you can Google all of this, right? That said, the next thing that we want to do is to actually install it. So um, let's basically say composer global uh, neon3 slash neon3 and uh, oh, how about require how about require okay 
Um, so that basically the global is super important. So you want to have that available in your bin and in your path. So let's quickly see whether or not this works. Okay. Uh, ah, see, I'm actually updating. Uh, so I already have a version installed, of course. And as soon as that's done, there are two possibilities now. Now, either this works out of the box or not, right? So if you run something like neon3 hyphen v, and you don't get this output, right, with a with a version and and uh, this docs uh, link, uh, that means it's not available in your path. Now, there are a couple of reasons for that, and it's impossible uh, to basically fathom like what kind of particular issues you might have. So the easiest logic is is the first thing that you're going to try is to open up a new terminal. Okay, um, that is a lot to do with with how some systems work. Um, so uh, open up a new terminal, uh, like like we'll assume D in Windows or Bash on, on Linux or, or, or uh, whatever, um, and make sure that it still doesn't work. Right? If if it works, then it's fine. And so so going forward, you will simply have access to it. Um, so what if that's not the case. Um, if it's not the case, then it's likely that your how composer uh, is included into your path um, is is not sufficient in order to basically uh, use global uh, composer packages in that way. In that case, Google um, how to fix that issue for you. Uh, again, it depends on, on your OS mainly. Like like how do you get global uh, composer packages into your path? Um, you will have that issue go with with different things, right? Like like SAS or whatever. And you you might know this kind of issue from from you know coming from Node or whatever when when you install global uh, Node packages. Anyway, so if you are past that hurdle, uh, then we're basically going to create your our first app, right? So so now I basically assume that you have that going on. So I'm going to delete this README and. It's, so just so you see, um, I have a completely empty uh, project here. I'm already in this project, right? So, so it's also interesting CD or create or whatever you need to do in order to actually go into this project. This does not work like, like a lot of other systems where it basically creates a new folder. So you always run this directly in context. So I'm gonna say Neon3, new app. And so what I'm gonna do for my purpose is here is I'm going to specifically tell it to please use version 3 because it's currently not the main release so I want to make sure that I'm actually running version 3 and installing version 3 uh, rather than uh, 2 point whatever okay so it's installing a couple of things I mean mainly we are probably gonna look at this for a while and it's installing um, the complete testing environment. Uh, as you can see, all of those Sebastian things um, are uh, part of, of PHP unit. Um, so that's gonna take a second. And as soon as we got that going, we are ready to rumble. So um, again, this is taking a while. So, so the structure itself is already there, right? You can't see it yet, but this is already the structure. Uh, while this is installing, we can basically walk through this on a very high level. So the underscore neon folder, uh, those are core files you probably just don't want to touch. Asset folder, well, you can kind of guess what that is, right? So uh, there's probably the Fafi, yeah, uh, not much in there yet, um, but that's where you would have like kind of static files and stuff, right? Um, component, this is uh, what we're going to work with um, most of the time. So uh, creating new uh, endpoints and functionalities is something that's happening here. Uh, frame is uh, a concept in, in Neon3 that we have to talk through a little bit more in detail. Uh, provider is a decoupling logic. You probably also never have to touch this unless you write your own providers. Uh, tests is uh, auto-generated, so don't worry about that. Um, this, you know, for, for uh, continuous integration, we will get to that in a different video. Uh, and vendor, uh, well, as you know, that's something that Composer just created for us uh, to get all this stuff in that we uh, need from a dependency perspective. So uh, if all is said and done, the only thing I need to do is to say, okay, um, 
So I can run this on Apache or whatever locally, but I'm going to use the, the uh, development server. So I'm going to type in neon3 develop. Oop, and something's actually using that port on my end. This is perfect. Let me quickly go through and see which whatever project is running this. Okay. Let's give it another shot. Um, all right, there we go. Built something amazing today. So now it generated this uh, dev server here at localhost 8080. And a simple click on this will basically reveal, okay, this is our uh, starting point, right? This is the version we just installed and this is already running. So you can walk through a couple of things here if you want to. A um, little, like, like a quick start maybe, right? Your first route endpoint, your first API endpoint and familiarize yourself a little bit of what that is. But as you can see, this is your, um, uh, well, app as, as it is right now, and everything else is something we're gonna go into uh, in different scenarios. So uh, thanks for watching, and um, I see you in the next video.